my ghosts on this episode of demons road tv we talk about the little hate fest that's going on involving one percenters people are buying into the movie shit and we get into it on this episode of demons road tv and no oh yeah we ghosting baby Welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost, I'm your host for the evening. It's mid, it's below 20 right now, it's crazy brick out here. But listen, I'm hyped and I gotta lay it down for y'all right now. I got some topics that we gotta handle, a lot going on in the culture. But the first thing I want you to do, like we always do on this channel, is to hit me with that pound ghosting. And that lets me know you're alive and well, sitting on two, doing what you do, or just part of the Demons Road community. One of my ghosts. Now, real quick for me, Go follow the Sos the Ghost page. Within the next couple of weeks, we're gonna start doing live q and I'm gonna do it on that channel to get that launched off. If you wanna support the show, get the Demons Row merch. I'll link that up real quick. It's underneath every video. Y'all cop that. Shout to everybody that's been copping. Shout to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the row. So my inbox has been getting lit up lately. It's been a lot of talk. A lot of people outside the 1% community and regular MCs or regular bikers, I'm getting this, they're fed up of the 1% community's action, ways and actions, history of the stuff that's going on. And I was alerted to a video that Black Dragon did and I don't remember the exact name. I think it was to the effect of our 1% is destroying MC culture. Now to me, that's feeding into what's being perpetrated on all, all media that is involving anything with MC culture. Every time I look on my timeline, it's, it's Hell's Angels, it's Mongols, it's, it's all the negative aspects of them. You don't see anything about any type of toys for tots, any type of events they doing. Well, I see it because I'm in the mix, so I know the good that brothers do, but they, that's not what they're gonna show you. The same way they do with Trump. They're not gonna show you the good stuff Trump does because they're on a demonizing campaign. So they're gonna show you the negativity so you hate him. So they do the same thing with the MCs. And what's starting to bother me is that people that are in the culture are demonizing the MCs now too. Because now I see that Black Dragon had that video. I see this dude, Ryan, Erlack or some shit got law biting bikers so basically like he was saying on this podcast this dude was he was out his mind basically he was like trying to like for clickbait and to gather fans he's basically saying uh we're the 99 percent so there's more of us you know trying to rally the troops so that he could get money like bruh that's corny and lame you know what i'm saying and they're trying to use the fact that stuff happens, shooting, stuff like, yo listen, shit happens everywhere. It's not just 1% clubs that are involved in shootouts. There's all type of clubs that are involved in shit. Let's keep it 1,000. How many people are really getting plugged in MC culture? I came from a crip background where people are getting clipped all the time. Why is it every time I look on my timeline, it's something with somebody being shot? 
Like, how often are people really getting shot in MC culture? Like, stop it. And stop acting like it's all one percenters that are ruining the culture. It's not all one percenters. How many states, how many countries full of MCs are there? Now, you hear one or two shootouts a year, and you're gonna make it seem like this is a running theme in MC culture? Like it's not an everyday thing that's going on. And y'all need to stop making it seem like it's always some shit going on. Cause if you look in other cultures, there's a lot more shit going on. You see Pop Smoke just got killed. RP to Pop Smoke. That gang banging shit, people are getting killed all the time. So to make it seem like MC culture, like the one percenters are just out here killing everybody, taking everybody's cuts. That's not what's happening. You got one percenters like me that's out here giving game, giving nothing but positivity. You know what I'm saying? Listen, we need to stick together and uplift the culture. And I understand y'all brothers got a different channel, so y'all just reporting news. So I get it, you know what I'm saying? Report the news. but. It's feeding into the mindset of all one percent is a shooting and it, it's, it's nonsense. It, I understand shit happens. Shit happens everywhere, but it's not going on as much as it is in other cultures. Like shit happens, you know what I mean? And I don't, I really, if you're really out there and in the street and see what's going on, one percenters are in a different mix from everybody else. They're not constantly out there causing problems, starting trouble. They, a lot of times, one percenters are doing their own thing. They're not even involved with 99% of the shit that's going on with the 99s. So to always portray this image that like, bikers are tired on one percenters. Like a lot of bikers show crazy love to one percenters. When they see us, everywhere I go, it's all love. So I don't understand like with this internet shit where all the hate is coming from. You know what I'm saying? Shout the Hollywood, shout the Black Dragon. I rock with them. They're good brothers. I just want people to understand that when they're bringing stuff up, we gotta be conscious of the source and what, what we're talking about here. Because there's a lot of one percenters hitting me up, upset about the shit that's going on and what's being said. Too many names, cases, and faces. And you know, like when you get out there in the street, sometimes you're gonna have to bump into these faces and a lot of them are telling me that it's not gonna end up well. So we just gotta be careful what we talk about on the internet. We gotta be careful what they put out there because all they're putting out is negativity. And I'm not talking about Hollywood and Black Dragon. I'm just saying in, in general, they're just, everything is negative involving our culture. And it, I, I don't see it, I really don't. I see a lot of toys for tots. I see a lot of parties. I see a lot of good looking women. I see a lot of good brothers. I don't see it, I really don't. And I'm everywhere, I'm in the mix with the people that you talk about, that you carry pom poms for, these big fours or whoever you, you know, whoever you guys idolize. I'm around these dudes. These, a lot of these dudes is family people, stand up people. We gotta stop making it seem like this is mafia shit. It's not, it is not on that level. It is really not. I don't know if back in the 70s, 80s, you know the 80s was crazy. So everything done in the 80s was more turned up. You know what I'm saying? So in the 80s, obviously it was more lit. But right now in this day and age with cameras everywhere and what's going on, like man, listen, I'm not gonna say shit don't happen, but I mean, come on, we let's stop making a scene like one percenters are just out here killing people and this culture is that crazy. Let's give more respect to the clubs that's out here paving the way. And listen, I don't condone cuts being taken, people being shot, I don't condone any of it. That's why I'm teaching protocol so that we could get away from all of that. It could be smoother on the streets and there's no reason for nobody, no one percenter to run up on nobody and take nobody's cut. So let me know in the comments how you feel about what I'm saying and any questions about the real life of a one percenter, ask somebody that's an actual one percenter. Ask Big Cass who's been in that position. Ask somebody like me. Ask people with the credentials to talk about what's going on. If you wanna support the show, cop the Demons Row Clothing merch shelf under every video. We're gonna be doing Q&A a lot more in the next couple of weeks. I'm just getting my setup ready. We're gonna start going live so we can really interact and talk. Shout to everybody that's been represented for me. 
Thank you for tuning in to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, the frozen grail right now. Like, subscribe, and comment. Share this on your feed so people can start learning the real deal of this culture. And oh yeah, we ghosting, baby.